Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we're going to take a look at this LREZA Piccolo, who I think is going to be one of the best free-to-play units in the game. Um, now, we can't really use him at his best on Global because we don't have the Carnival LR Gohan that is from the 8th anniversary, but we do have the AGL Kid Gohan, which is pretty good, right? Now, the problem is, is I do not have the Earthbred Fighters team, and I think that's probably like the best team you could like get them both on right now. Um, however, we got a new Goku coming, and I don't have Yamcha, so that's what I'm getting. I don't have Yamcha, um, but we do have the new uh, Golden Week Goku, who I believe is an Earthbred Fighters leader, so I could possibly run this situation with him. So I'm doing something a little wonky in this showcase where I'm running, because I really want to see Piccolo at 200%. So I'm running him on LR Piccolo's team where he does get the 200% because he's Battle of Wits and then Bond of Master and Disciple. Um, but Gohan does not fit on the leader skill, so I'm actually running AGL Gohan without a leader skill here, which is kind of risky, but I'll bring items to protect him, whatever. Um, he is technically, I think, getting 30% <laughs> from the leader skill, but not that much, right? So the Gohan's going to look really, really weak, but I just, we need him there to see Piccolo at his best. So this is more of a hypothetical showcase. How good does Piccolo look on a 200% leader skill when the Gohan that he needs is there on the proper team, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Uh, his leader skill is very unique. Um, it's three key and 150 to HP, but then only attack and defense 90. I don't know why they don't just give this guy 150 to all stats. Like, I wouldn't break the game. You still wouldn't use it. Um, I suppose it's because, like, as a free-to-play unit, the leader skill would probably be more like 90 or 100, and then the 150 is just a big buff to HP, but whatever. Don't ever use this leader skill. <laughs> uh, super attack effect. So the 12 key here is colossal damage and lowers attack. The 18 key is colossal damage and raises allies attack by 30%. So what's significant about this guy is once you read the passive, you're gonna see he's gonna feel like a slot one unit, um, which means you'll actually get that attack passive uh, support there, which is really good, provided you get the 18 key. So he gets key plus three and defense plus 200% at the start of turn, raises attack by up to 200, the more HP, the higher the attack. So he's gonna hit harder when there's more uh, HP. Um, all allies get key one and defense 20 plus an additional two key and defense 20 for all allies if there's an ally whose name includes Gohan Kid on the team. So just for having the Gohan Kid on the team, um, he is what? A three key 40% defense support just for having Kid Gohan on the team. And then remember, he's doing 30% attack on a super attack effect. So he's kind of like a 30% attack, 40% defense, three key support. It's very good, right? And then he guards all attacks as the first attacker in a turn plus an additional defense 100 if Gohan is in the same turn. So this is why you want to have Gohan on rotation with him. So you can use him in slot one. He gets guaranteed guard and an extra 100% defense, right? Um, so let's take a look at it. And mine is should be full level 10 links. Uh, yep, full level 10 links, fully maxed out. Um, I did give him a lot of dodge and defense type of equips because that's really what he's about is defense, right? So dude, 400k defense right out of the gate. And that's without his extra passive for being in slot one with a Gohan, which is pretty dang good. Now I'm running him in slot three here because I got Gohan wrapped around on the next rotation. And keep in mind that 400k defense is with no zero links active. My boy's got zero links active here turn one. So that's pretty good considering he's going to have guard. He's doing all the support. This Piccolo is going to be looking pretty fantastic, I think. And I think you wouldn't have to use him in slot one if you just wanted to run him as a support. Just you're losing on defense and guard. But with what I'm seeing here, start to turn defense, like he's probably going to be good enough for at least normals, right? And that's why you maybe give him some extra dodge. All right, so 3.5. Not the craziest attack stat, but this guy isn't really here for damage. He's here for defense. All right, and then you should tank this. And no defense lowering, which is good. All right, and we got a little animation here for our boy Ultimate Piccolo. Dude, Piccolo, Namekians, man. We got Int Piccolo's EZA. We got this Piccolo. We got another Piccolo coming for uh, Golden Week. I don't know. Namekians are starting to look good. I'm just waiting for that Namekian lead. I want that physical uh, Piccolo EZA. I want that nail EZA. I'm waiting for all that. All right, so Gohan, how do we handle you? Um, I guess we put Pycon in slot one. Um, I'm going to risk Go Gohan in slot two with no items here. I'm going to hope Pycon just takes Vegeta out. But things get dicey. <laughs> I don't know. Pycon's got a pretty weak attack stat there. Yeah. Ugh. Gohan would have to additional super. And I don't even know what his attack stat would be with like no leader skill. 
<laughs> 6k normal sure <laughs> poor gohan no leader skill poor guy poor kiddo that's okay piccolo's there to defend him piccolo is there to defend now the the hard balancing act i'm gonna have to do is i want to see piccolo defend which means i don't want to use items but at the same time gohan's gonna get us one shot so i'm gonna have to kind of pick and choose where i'm gonna do that here I'm sure we'll sleeve this Piccolo on rotation. Um, I actually feel like this Vegeta could be out of here on this Piccolo. This Piccolo is pretty, pretty beefy and strong. We'll see, though. The rest of the rotation is very weak, though. So we could be in a position where the Vegeta just survives with a sliver. Yeah, 9 mil. I don't know if that's going to do it. Unless we get additionals. Let's see. No, we're good. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, this Vegeta will survive with a... A little chunk of health because I don't think Vegito's gonna do a ton. I don't think I don't know. I don't think we're gonna get a lot of damage all these other two. Uh actually no, he's pretty close. Actually, no, we might kill him. Alright. We'll take that. Okay, I oh god, I think she I think Toa will do it. Ah, oh, 1.3 is pretty weak. <laughs> and she's typed this advantage, isn't she? I think he's gonna live with a sliver. Oh, we got the crit. Oh my God. Thank goodness. Without that crit, he would have had just a sliver. All right. That got a little bit dicey, but now we got the rotation we want. Oh dude, Gohan type disadvantage in slot two. What's how's uh, and Piccolo only gets gaze of respect. That's the bad part. At least with the carnival LR Gohan, they're going to get legendary power, right? So let's see. Piccolo, dude, five, 525k defense. Now, is that that slot one triggering? Let me see. No, see, he's still 549 in slot two. So I think he still has another 100 defense coming. And he's going to be guarding. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Let's do this. Let's grab this. He's going to be at near an 18 key. Did his defense go up after grabbing orbs? No. How about if Gohan grabs orbs? <laughs> and the cool thing about this Piccolo, it does activate Gohan's unit super, which is also very nice. Um... Yeah, Piccolo stuff 525, so uh, that defense must kick in like once they start attacking. And we're going to get a little bit more support from Python. All right, now this is pretty optimal turn here. 3.8, so still not a crazy attack stat. But his defense is kind of crazy right now. Uh, please don't super Gohan. <laughs> please don't super Gohan. Even with stacking defense, dude, 600k attack stat. This dude's got no leader skill pretty much. I'm curious how much this Gohan will take if he gets supered here. It's going to be bad. <laughs> okay, in additional, we need all the defense stacking we can get from this boy. We're running him without a leader skill here. Oh, and the fat crit. Dude, 65k normal. All right. So, Gohan is basically like playing red zone while everyone else is playing legendary Vegeta event. That's kind of what it feels like. You know, 65k normal is pretty good in red zone. So, yeah, I think Gohan's doing all right here. All right, this should work out well. Pycon? Oof, yeah. Dude, the fact that Pycon took that, Gohan would have been one shot, I think. I actually think Gohan would have been one shot right there. All right, we need these Piccolos to cook and finish this Vegeta off. This is probably the scariest, uh, one of the scarier uh, Vegeta phases. Now, this will actually be good that we lost a lot of health because now we can see what Piccolo's attack stat looks like because he loses attack, right? So, his only attack buff, I believe, is for HP. So he might be operating on, like, barely any attack buff here. But his defense should still be crazy, right? So, yeah, 560k. So here's what I'm going to say. We know Piccolo is going to tank this. Let's just... We got to do a King Yum or something for Gohan. So I would like to go a couple more turns. So we'll do that. Gohan, actually, dude, look at that. Very easy super attack for getting no key from the leader skill. That's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, what's... Oh, actually, we're at full health. Oh, because we had... Did we have a Dokkan attack? Or no. Uh, no, no, no. Okay, 2.7. So I do think that 2.7, that was for the low HP. What happened was, was Toa's passive kicked in and full healed us. That's what happened. Um, so that's why we got healed. But it triggers start of turn. So I believe 2.7 is definitely going to be Piccolo's floor. Uh, so once again, his attack is nothing to be desired. But his defense, like, that's top tier defense. To have 500 and something K starter turn, you get another 100% and you're guaranteed guarding. That's really good, dude. This Piccolo is it's very, very, very nice. I, very good unit. Makes me very excited for the other LR EZAs. Most notable, I'm actually really excited uh, 
really excited for the Yamcha and Puar unit because I just like Dragon Ball Saga so much. Now, they're they're going to be a ways yet because I think we have to do Tien and Chaozu first, but then they would be the one after that. Um, so, sure, let's just do this. We'll get one more turn with Piccolo, but I think we've pretty much seen what we need to see. And then maybe for memes, we'll see Gohan get one shot uh, without his leader skill, right? So yeah, this Piccolo isn't something I'm going to be using crazy right now. But I think even is just like, a, I think if he fits on the team, he's probably worth running as a floating support unit. Because even without the guard, he's going to have way better defense than most slot three support units. So I think there is some value to this Piccolo for sure. Just on like any team he can be on. I'm not going to lie. There was a, a part of me that wanted the, the giant form Piccolo Jr. to be in the Mechian lead. Because that, or like have Namekian as one of his, because he has like three different categories. I wish Namekian was one of them, because then it would give me hope that they're going to do like those Namekian upgrades. It's like, because I think now we're getting to the point, if you easy a physical Piccolo and AG on L, I think you could do like a legit full Namekian team that's really good. Not to mention the other LR Demon King Piccolo that orb changes, he's still solid, right? He's like usable. Um, all right, so we'll let Piccolo, yeah, 550k defense start a turn. Very good. The key didn't really work out crazy here, but that's fine. <laughs> Let Gohan stack his minuscule defense. All right, we'll make this the last turn because we're not really going to see anything else from this Piccolo, right? This is basically it. Uh, yeah, back up to 3.3. So yeah, he's going to go between 2.2 to 3.5 mil attack stats. Once again, not that crazy, but man, he's a freaking wall. And he's, he's supporting the rotation for defense, right? Which is really good. <laughs> let's see if gohan can get us one shot here or did he stack his minuscule defense up enough the 60k normals nope all right had he gotten super he would have got one shot but anyways guys let me know what you think it's all our piccolo i think it's very very good thanks for watching we'll catch y'all on the next one